What do we have here? Excuse me. I need to get to the local cemetery. Could you give me a lift? I've only just come back from the post office this morning. I'm not getting the horse going again. Back to the cemetery. It's not like anyone there is going to run away. And look, my horse is more dead than alive. I'll be right back. I'm not going anywhere. Maybe you'll change your mind and drop me off at the cemetery after all. Well, on the other hand, this place isn't much more exciting than the cemetery, and I meant to take the horse out for a ride, so get on. Does that mean I helped, Thamaturge? When I heard you were at the cemetery, I was sure I'd see you resurrecting the dead. Not yet. Today I'm just praying for rest for Vasily's soul. The whole village is suffering after his loss. He was the elder here. He cursed this place. Since he died, darkness and misfortune have hung over the village. You see? To them, every harm comes down to witchcraft. They believe that after Vasily's passing, the village was possessed by some monster that howls at night or some other yuffiets. What changed in the village after the Elder died? It's all dreadful, sir. Everything's gone topsy-turvy. When folks get to arguing now, they're so hot-headed. Before you know it, they're at one another's throats. Ladies have no patience for kids, nor lads for ladies, nor neighbors for neighbors. Any word might seem offensive and like an insult waiting to happen. Then you've got to fight. Tragedies such as Vasily's death leave their mark on everyone. It takes time to come to terms with something like this. That doesn't mean this place is possessed by dark forces. How did this elder die? There was a fire, sir. Flames shooting sky high, and him burning, swearing, speaking curses. And the curse stuck. Those ruins seem a profaned place now. A wicked spirit has taken over the blighted land. Don't encourage her. Once she gets going, it can't be stopped. This could also be the work of a Salita. What do you mean? As you were healing me, I had a dream, a vision. But on the borderline of sleep and wakefulness, I thought I saw a Salita. That's what might be influencing the villagers in wailing at night. They're good people, but none too bright, Victor. I'm afraid they might be talking about a train. The wise woman was saying the evil spirit 
He's a book of hatch. Does the creature hunting you rattle chains, slither around, and have a mouth full of giant fangs? A book of hatch. Where did this elder live? I'll show you. Let's allow Vasily's soul to rest for today. Amen. What do you expect to find in this place? The fire was almost a year ago. Uh, time doesn't matter much here. I'm looking for clues and personal traces that will lead me to whoever is carrying the floor that lured the Saluta here. I see. I thought I could be helpful to you, but... I don't really understand what you're telling me. If I do manage to catch another Saditor, that would be a very rare occurrence, in fact. An ordinary Thaumaturge wouldn't even try more than once. Only a few have multiple Saditors. Why? Because they're afraid. Like the ones who claimed humans wouldn't learn to fly or even reach the pole. But the failure of others doesn't mean those people are right. It means a mistake was made somewhere. Isn't this exactly the sort of thinking that caused your problems that led you to me? That doesn't matter anymore. Then what's changed? This time, I've got you with me. Above all, flaws are deeply hidden marks left on human souls. They form under the influence of tragic events. What does that have to do with salutors? Is that Latin? Yes, from the word newcomer. People have always taken salutors to be spirits, demons, or imps. Like from those fairy tales, the wise woman and the other old crones tell the locals. Sometimes, those sorts of fairy tales and legends describe how humans perceive a salutor. They don't take a physical form. Salutors are attracted to the flaws hidden within people. Thaumaturges discover these flaws inside someone, bring them to the surface, and adopt them to lure the Salutor. Those are the moments when I've usually failed. I haven't been able to hold on to a Salutor. I didn't know how to bind one to myself. What about you? Do you have a flaw? It doesn't matter. The important thing is that I can now catch my next Salutor. Make another bond with it, and its power will allow me to start influencing people. Thanks to your help, I can once again discover people's flaws and the Salutors hiding behind them. And I think I'm now able to catch my second Salutor. People always leave behind individual bits of their personality, even on everyday objects and such. I can decipher the thoughts and actions imprinted on these objects, and then match them to their owner. This lets me gather immense knowledge about a person, especially if I need to find someone. What else can you do? Why did you want to come here with me? I have never gotten to know a thaumaturge so closely. I'd like to learn as much as possible about your abilities. I need to look around this place a little more. I won't stop you. Can you feel it? It's the smell of mystery. A horrible 
death. True fear. This house was always full of fear. And its owner was still alive when the house caught fire. Someone wanted to kill him. The fire only covered up the crime. The murder gave birth to the floor that you attached to, didn't it? I'll find you when I track down the murderer. Victor! I hope you've got what you want now, Thaumaturge. Because I think it's time to get out of here. Why the hurry, Father? We're the Tsar's men. How about the donation for the Tsar's army? There are no Russian outposts here. I think this is the guy with the nice boots. You're the guy who trashed our comrades? I can do exactly the same to all of you. He's not as weak as he looks. He actually looks better than he did the other day. But not counting the priest. He's still alone. Not anymore, I'm not.
Salutors also help you in a fight? Can you manipulate people and cast these demons into their minds? Generally speaking, yes. Are you sure you're right, sir? Call me Grigori. Let's head back. I have to visit someone in the village who can tell me more about what happened here. I felt... They'll go gawk, but without lifting a finger. Just, Vesna will bring it, Vesna will help. But if Vesna needs help with something, there's nobody to be found. Hmm. That's not yours, don't touch! All these newcomers causing more problems. Sensing I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. I'm telling you, go away, or I'll call for help! 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 Somebody help me! What are you doing here, you tramp? I'm not looking for trouble. I just wanted to talk. We'll talk, all right.
the devil sent you. You could say that, sure. I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. Please leave. Please, please. Now I know that woman's trace. Vesna and her husband both left traces of themselves at Vasily's burned-out farmstead. Luca sincerely loves his wife. You think he loves her strongly enough to kill for her? You're right. It'd be better to ask Vesna about that. I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. Please open the door. I'd like to have a chat about your husband. You better not be here when he gets back. He's not as talkative and polite as I am. I know you're scared, but please, just open the door a crack and let me ask one quick question. What do you want? Please, don't be afraid. I just need to know where I can find your husband. He's chopping wood in the clearing by the forest. Again. This time, it's a matter of life and death. How is your search going? Almost finished. I know who's attracting the Bukavarch. Can you reveal that secret? It's Luca. It has to be Luca. Do you still want to catch that Salutor? Yes, absolutely. Despite the risk? I hope I can persuade you to come with me. That's an enormous favor you're asking me. I hope you'll be able to return it. I give my word. Did you hear? We're going to see Luca Bogosian. 